Okay, so uh, welcome back. Another update. Um, started doing a little more work on the inside of the boat. Uh, it was a nice sunny day a few days ago and uh, realized it was getting a bit too hot to be working under the tarp. Not only that, when it rained, that tarp was getting pretty worn out and uh, had a lot of holes in it. Um, so I decided to pull the tarp off, uh, got the canvas top back on the boat. It's a lot easier to get in and out, uh, a lot more headroom for working in here with the metal hoops, uh, not all folded down like they were for the winter. So um, not expecting any more snow anyway, so I uh, thought I might as well get serious about getting some stuff done on it. Um, and uh, so I got that done and then I thought I would get back to working on the in inside of the cabin. As I started working on the interior of the cabin here, um, I started working on a little bit of the, uh, the cabinet work for the galley, uh, but then I realized I needed to get a bunch of other stuff uh, taken care of first before I can get any farther on that. Um, so one of the first things I had to tackle was the uh, electrical tangled bird's nest nightmare that was there. Um, both the 110 volt shore power as well as the 12 volt systems are just a tangled mess. Um, the original electrical panel for shore power is just a, a little two breaker household panel. Um, since some of it was already removed when I got the boat, I'm not sure what everything was powering other than a few outlets and maybe a light. Um, but the wiring from the 30 amp uh, connector on the outside of the boat was just 12 gauge household solid copper wiring to the panel uh, and from the panel there was some other more of the same uh, solid 12 gauge household wiring running to a couple of outlets uh, as well as a length of brown lamp cord uh, that was just hanging from the ceiling nothing connected on the other end um, I'm not sure what that was powering but that cord was uh, power protected by a uh, 15 amp breaker so um, not exactly uh, following the rules with that wiring, um, but whatever, I'm getting rid of all of that. Um, what I'm replacing this old uh, gray box with is a new used uh, proper panel uh, with a 30 amp main breaker um, that was out of a boat. I found this on eBay. Uh, I just got delivered a few days ago. It looks like it's in perfect condition, so I'm going to put that in. It's got about the right number of circuits for what I need. I think even labeled properly for what I need, so i um, going to get that updated. The 12 volt fuse panels, um, again, just hanging on the wires. Uh, that's the way it was when I got the boat, because uh, somebody had done some demolition in here already. Um, the fuse panels are the old uh, glass fuses, nothing wrong with those in their day, uh, but the panels are all pretty badly corroded. So I've got new uh, fuse panels that I'm going to put in that have screw terminals and blade type fuses. Um, so it'll be taking up a lot less space and hopefully make the wiring a lot cleaner. Uh, anyway, so I just started with uh, just kind of basically pruning all the wires off of them, labeling all the wires according to whatever labels were on the fuse panels. I don't know if they're correct, but at least it's a starting point. Uh, I may replace a lot of the wires, but if the wires turn out to be okay, I may reuse some of them. The other thing that I noticed um, was, uh, well, back up a little bit, I got... Um, I don't know how many yards, a big roll of uh, foam backed vinyl hull liner delivered uh, this week. I'm going to use that for the, the top and the sides of the interior of the cabin. Um, so I decided to start cleaning up the inside of the cabin to um, 
get ready for installing that. Um, first of all, I want to make sure I take care of any leaks that were coming in from the top. Um, so I found a new place to mount the air horn on the outside so it's not on the on the cabin top, more on the side. Um, it'll help with in terms of wiring and the hoses. Um, it'll also clear up the deck for when we're walking outside, uh, going through locks or anything, so it's one less thing to trip over. Um, the um, anchor light that's mounted up on the windshield frame um, I realized it was leaking water into the cabin because the water was running down uh, the wires uh, through the hole where the wire goes in through the windshield frame and then following the um, the tubing that protects the wire and then running down into the cabin through the top. So I took the whole light off. Um, the wires were all cracked and corroded so I, I basically pulled it apart, um, put in new wires, soldered them all in with heat shrink uh, and then put it in and then sealed up all the holes with uh, 3M5200. Uh, hopefully that'll stop that leak. Um, then the inside of the hull still had all kinds of bits of uh, foam up on the ceiling um, from the old fur hull, hull liner. There's a little bit of it here that you can, I can show you. Uh, this is what the inside of it was all covered with. Um, it had been removed for the most part when I got it. I pulled the rest off, but I had to get rid of the foam. Um, so I took the grinder with the wire brush to it and uh, just took the rest of it off. Uh, the last little bits I can wipe off with acetone. Um, and then this morning when I uh, went to pick up a tool that I had on the ledge inside the boat, I noticed it was wet and I was wondering where the water came from. And I realized that the nav lights on the side of the boat, at least uh, the light on one side of the boat, uh, there was a drip of water hanging on the end of the wire uh, from the navigation light. So um, I took those off this morning and cleaned them out. The old chrome on the outside is all pitted, so I'm just repainting them with some, actually some aluminum wheel paint that I have. Um, and then I'm gonna have to put those back on and reseal those. Like I said, I'm just trying to get rid of the water leaks uh, that are letting water into the cabin before I put the hull liner on. What else do I need to do now? Uh, so what I'm going to do, have to do is once I get the navigation lights back on, um, I'm going to figure out all the uh, routing for the wiring uh, because some of the wiring is going to be going uh, between the hull liner and the hull. So I need to get any of that type of wiring in place before I put the vinyl in. Um, and then hopefully I can get back to cutting the wood uh, for the uh, cabinet work uh, and everything like that. Um, I'm kind of thinking that I'll want to get the hull liner back onto the hull uh, before I actually permanently install the cabinet work. That will help me, uh, that way I can hide the edges of the uh, vinyl hull liner behind the the cabinet work um, that's going to be uh, stained and uh, varnished to make it maybe make it a little bit of a cleaner install. And then I also don't have to worry about getting the spray adhesive onto the, the wood while I'm working. I um, also installed new stainless steel through hulls uh, in preparation for uh, installing the galley cabinets. Uh, the boat originally had plastic through hulls, so I used a, a stepper bit to uh, uh, enlarge the holes, and then uh, with the help of my daughter, got the um, the stainless through hulls installed. Um, so in this location, there's three. One's going to be for the galley sink. One will be for the bilge pump for the forward bilge uh, and the third is going to be the drain for the uh, shower sump that's going to be also um, in the uh, forward bilge. Um, the holes were already here like I said I just enlarged them and put the stainless through holes uh, sealed them with uh, 3M5200 um, to make sure they don't leak around them. Um, so I'm gradually getting things uh, ready to go. Here.